Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Manav. I'm the product marketing manager at Communicate. I've been with Communicate for over two years now, and I look after the product marketing efforts here at the company. I will be your moderator for the session. We truly appreciate your time and want to ensure that you get the most out of the session today. So please feel free to share your queries on the chat section on the platform. We will be answering to your queries at the end of the session. So just setting up some brief context, NVIDIA became the world's most valuable company, surpassing Microsoft on June 18th of this year of 2024. While Intel, its competitor had to lay off 20,000 employees only because they could not monetize on this AI revolution. The whole world is after this AI rush. Similarly, customer service teams that use AI will capture the market. They would provide better experience for their customers and will always have an advantage over their competitors. So here we are today. Uh, we, we are enabling you to become a true AI-first customer service leader. So today, we will be showing you how you can put AI into your Zendesk suit faster with minimal dependent, dependence on your developer team. Also, our mission is to enable customer service leaders like you to be a true AI-first customer service leader so that your company can move faster and make the most of this AI-first revolution that is sweeping the economy today. But before we move ahead, um, and introduce our speakers for the session. I want to quickly give a brief on Communicate, what Communicate is. Uh, so Communicate is an AI-powered customer service automation platform. We provide flexible, accurate, and scalable generative AI-powered chatbots and live chat solutions for fast-growing companies like you. So you can resolve your customer queries faster and efficiently. Some of our customers, as you can see here, are MGen, Rakuten, Bridgestone, Taxbury, and Malaysia Airports. Communicate ensures that your data is safe and secure. We are SOC 2, ISO, GDPR, HIPAA compliant. We are also backed by Google, where we have recently been selected by Google for its very first cohort of AI-first companies that uses generative AI to solve real-life business problems. Cool. Um, so our speakers for the session today are Yogesh and others. Yogesh leads the growth team at Communicate. And before Communicate, Yogesh has led sales teams at organizations like Ericsson, Tally, Simply Learn. Adarsh is the co-founder and CEO of Communicate. Before Communicate, Adarsh was the CEO of a company called AppLogic. It was a chat-based API company, which was later acquired by Koros. Uh, it's an enterprise CX company. Okay. Um, and here's the agenda for the session today. We have kept it very short. Uh, it's half an hour. Uh, we want to ensure that we close it within half an hour. So it's just three items. Um, Yogesh will kick off the session by discussing how to enhance the experience of both your customers as well as your agents using AI that you can integrate with your Zendex products while you create memorable experiences. The second part of the session will be led by Adarsh, where he will show the AI capabilities of Communicate and how easy it is to integrate Communicate's AI with your existing Zendex products. Yogesh and others, welcome to the session and thank you for taking the time today for doing this. Uh, Yogesh, why don't you begin and uh, with a brief introduction and go ahead. Great. So thanks, Pana. I hope I'm audible. Can you hear me? Great. Uh, great. So yeah, thanks, Pana, uh, for the session and uh, 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 inviting us. Uh, and greetings, everyone uh, who has joined this meeting. I understand that uh, there are uh, people who are joining from various geographies uh, from different time zones. So thanks for joining in and taking our time for the session. Uh, so quickly uh, uh, jumping into what we're going to cover in this session. Uh, so I'm going to set the context a little bit that how AI is kind of transforming the landscape of customer service automation, as we all are aware, uh, and also uh, Zendesk being one of the most powerful tool out there when it comes to customer support and customer service automation, how putting in AI into Zendesk suit can really change the game for businesses uh, who are already using Zendesk suit, uh, but are for some reasons not able to really leverage the power of AI uh, on the Zendesk suit, right? Uh, so as I said, Zendesk is one of the most powerful uh, customer service uh, platform out there uh, with over you know, 250,000 plus websites who are already using Zendesk. Uh, it provides you seamless omnichannel support, a lot of customizations, a lot of workflows. Uh, with, I think, the last couple of years wherein we have seen a drastic uh, 
uh, you know, kind of change that AI has really brought in post the era of chat GPTs and Gemini. Uh, we are seeing AI becoming a very critical part of your entire customer service automation. And while Zendesk has all those capabilities available as part of its solution suite, uh, which includes your uh, products like ticketing, your health centers, your sunshine and Zopim, which uh, for now, I think they are kind of absorbing into your Zendesk chat. Uh, however, there are certain uh, challenges which we have seen when we have spoken to a lot of customers who are already using Zendesk uh, when they uh, try to leverage the AI on top of Zendesk. A couple of them include the you know, the higher cost upfront, uh, which might really work for larger enterprises. Uh, but sometimes uh, it is a challenge uh, for an organization who's just kind of, you know, started in that growth journey. Uh, so the cost becomes kind of a blocker. Uh, the second challenge that we have kind of also uh, understood from many of our clients is that uh, deploying the AI into the Zendus requires, uh, you know, some degree of development effort, which means involving their tech teams to kind of build those workflows, build the integrations and, you know, kind of bring in those customizations into play, uh, which at times really, uh, you know, kind of increases your go-to-market time. Uh, for that, for support leaders, etc., it becomes a kind of a blocker to kind of really keep pushing things and, you know, it takes a while to kind of get all those things up and running. Uh, but having said that, uh, there are there are no doubts uh, when, we have, as I said, we have been speaking to a lot of customers that they all feel that AI can definitely change the game when it comes to Zendesk, right? So in today's session, we are going to uh, take our communicate platform to kind of really showcase that how it can really uh, help you use the power of AI on top of Zendesk without having to change much, right? Uh, so communicate has native integration with all these products of Zendesk suit, uh, which includes your ticketing, your sunshine, your health centers. And our platform kind of seamlessly integrates with all these platforms, right? What that means is, and I have a quick, uh, you know, kind of this, we have quick design, which kind of really showcases how this entire uh, flow works, uh, which is what Adarsh uh, is going to also demo while he's presenting uh, the product. Uh, so as, as I said, we have different product within Zendesk, which includes your uh, health centers, which includes your sunshine widget, and then there is uh, Zendesk ticketing, right? Uh, so this example, this, uh, you know, design over here or flowchart here showcase how a user can enter your conversation from various channels. It could be a website, it could be mobile app, it could be WhatsApp, uh, which primarily for him, the first interface becomes your sunshine uh, chat widget where the conversation really starts. Now, communicate can get uh, you know the power of Gen AI by you know, training the bot on the help center or directly by integrating the Zendesk help center, uh, which really saves a lot of time. Uh, plus, it also allows with the capabilities that we have built into communicate like context, source URLs, and a lot of other stuff. Uh, it makes the whole conversation much more engaging and much more contextual. Right, that is one. With Communicate, you also get the flexibility to also use your website and URL. So it's very straightforward. Uh, you can just put your domain name into our uh, Communicate platform. Uh, and through our auto scraping method, all your URLs get scraped and the bot gets trained on that uh, data and is ready to respond to different queries, right? Third, you can also train the document, your bot on your documents, uh, be it PDFs, text files, anything else. So. Once your bot is trained on all this data and you have the sunshine widget sitting there. So this bot, this AI engine can be seamlessly integrated within the sunshine widget. So you don't need to use communicate widget as such if you're already using Zendesk. So within sunshine, you'll see that these conversations are happening powered by the generative AI capabilities of communicate, right? So this is, so health center training is done. Sunshine widget is where our AI kind of seamlessly integrates and you see those all, all conversations happening. And finally, the third piece is, and uh, which we believe that uh, though AI is really uh, picking pace and is part of uh, the core part of all the customer service discussions that are happening, we feel humans are going to be still going to be at the center of all those discussions, right? Which means 
for a lot of queries where there is a need of empathy, where it's a need of, you know, some kind of complex handling, we still feel that agents are going to play a critical, critical role, right? So we understand that and we believe that on that fact, uh, as far as the way our solution is designed. So on those conversations, when let's say a sunshine conversation is happening, AI is kind of answering, there could be scenarios where the conversation has to be handed over to a live agent. So again, through our seamless integration with our Zendesk ticketing solution or the conversation panel, the conversation will be handed over to a live agent who's actually just sitting in the Zendesk chat panel. Uh, you don't have to shift from Zendesk task, uh, chat panel to any communicate that task panel, right? So now the conversation happens. And at the same time, the agent can also respond back from the chat panel to agent queries. And at the same time, a tickets get created, which is what is eventually tracked at the end of the day to see that, you know, how the user's flow is going, is that you get open, closed, right? So this is what, how Wiredy communicates seamlessly gives the power of AI uh, within Zendesk platform. We have in fact worked with a lot of companies globally powering the Zendesk suit with our AI solution. Uh, Sol Solid is one of the HR tech companies based out of Brazil, uh, having an, around 1000 plus employees. And our AI is again, the same use case, our AI is sitting on the top of the Zendesk, helping them uh, really use the power of AI. We have iSharing Soft, which is based in the United States, a location sharing app. Uh, we have marketing tech company, our based out of Netherlands called Adaptive. We have GameSlow, uh, which is an online gaming company based out of the US, right? So all in all, what we see is that, uh, you know, bringing in the power of AI in Zendesk is not that complex if you use uh, platforms like Communicate or something else. Uh, but definitely it's the way forward, uh, uh, which can really, really uh, help you leverage uh, this technology better and engage the customers better. Right. So without speaking much on, you know, what AI can do for Zendesk, I'll invite others to really demonstrate the flow that I just explained uh, and post that we can take any further questions. Right. So Adarsh, over to you. Yeah. Thanks, Yogesh. Uh, thanks, Manav. Uh, yeah. So I'll just share my screen and start, uh, you know, the demo. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I guess my screen is visible now. Yes, others, we can see. All good. Okay. Okay. Cool. So we'll just start with the demos. This is our, uh, you know, communicate dashboard where you can go and create different kinds of uh, bots. So this is a section called bot integration. Here you see different uh, bots I have created. This is listing uh, listed here. Uh, creating bot on communicate is very easy task. Uh, so for example, if I just go to create new bot, you can see different platforms are listed here. Uh, so you can choose, uh, you know, any other platforms like OpenAI, Gemini, Anthropic, choose your own bot platforms. We do not stick customer to any of the bot platforms and it's very easy to change bot platforms later on as well. However, we have our own, uh, you know, bot platforms, uh, bot platform uh, as well, which which leverages internally different uh, kind of these LLMs like OpenAI, Gemini, and Anthropic. Uh, based on different uses use cases, we have uh, already optimized it a lot. Uh, for today's demo, uh, actually, I have created a sample bot, uh, which is a Compose bot. So before starting the demo, uh, I'll just, uh, you know, go through the uh, different settings uh, available in bot. And uh, basically that will help us to understand the demo better. Uh, so once you go to the bot section, you can see particular bot, you can see different, uh, you know, tabs here. The first tab is welcome message, which um, where you can set the welcome message whenever the conversation gets started. This is the first message uh, your users will see. Uh, so you can, again, uh, you know, provide different kind of buttons or let's say, you know, the text messages. Uh, the second option is, uh, you know, intents. Intents are typically used for either integrating with your, uh, um, uh, integrating with your APIs, uh, like uh, inline code, you can write inline code or integrate with your web app. Suppose, let's say certain data you want to fetch from your own APIs that can be done through intents. Uh, the second use of intent is, let's say, if there are certain questions where you don't want LLM to modify those uh, answers, 
so that you can train bot upon those questions through intent and then bot will reply through or reply with the same answers it will not change the answer as such uh this is about intent uh now we have a small talk this is just to handle hi hello kind of questions uh before moving to knowledge source i'll just explain the default fallback so as you guys said like you know, we believe uh, uh, human will always be the part of uh, customer support conversations. So let's say the bot fails at any certain point or uh, the customer is not satisfied with uh, the bot answers. They can always uh, talk to agents. So this option uh, will trigger either on click of certain buttons you can configure or let's say if the bot is not able to answer, right? Uh, now I'll move to knowledge source. This is where the Gen AI uh, thing pitch in. Uh, so here you can uh, upload any kind of documents, uh, be it a PDF, CSV, docs, XLS, anything. Like you can upload any uh, kind of document here. So just to give you overview, here we are using uh, retrieval augmented generation. Uh, it, it's not only RAG, it, you can say it's a RAG++ where we do things in three stages. So all happens in the communicate backend where first we, uh, you know, structure data while creating embeddings and storing it, in, uh, it into the vector databases. Uh, like, uh, you know, uh, I mean, like, like, let's say if you have tabular data, uh, the system automatically structure well so that the information should not, uh, you know, uh, mm, uh, go away or we should not losing the information as such. Same with the HTML kind of data and all. The second stage is where the, let's say, when the user is asking certain questions, uh, first we retrieve all the data, uh, you know, related to that questions and arrange it in, uh, in uh, uh, yeah, arrange it in a, such a way so that we should not lose information and then in the final stage we call uh you know llms uh, uh with these uh you know contextual data and find the answer for uh user uh so this is how the overall system works uh again coming to this part uh so apart from document you can uh you know train your bot on urls as well where you can just put the url of your website and automatically you know, uh, it will fetch all the related URLs uh, either from sitemap or let's say if the sitemap is not available, it will pick all the URLs from that particular page, which are belong belonging to your domain. And it will show you to uh, select those URLs and then you can, you know, train, uh, train bot on those URLs. The final section is uh, knowledge base. Uh, this is the uh, today's session. So you can connect with either Gendesk or Salesforce. Uh, so on Gendesk side, let's say being a, uh, being a support leader, you just need only three cred credentials from Gendesk dashboard, which uh, easily you can find with the above instructions. And you just need to put these details, hit connect to Gendesk button and, uh, and it's uh, you know pretty easy. Uh, rest of the things communicate will take care. No development or developer help needed here. Uh, the bot will automatically train on these data right uh yeah so that's how you configure the bot now uh, the final part is the settings i just wanted to explain before starting the demo uh so here you can set the tone of the but, uh, bot for example you can say okay let's be uh you know friendly casual professional right and then you can also define whether you want short answers long answers right and in some cases, if you want, you can provide custom instructions as well so that the bot also consider these instructions while answering uh, to those questions. Uh, the other option is contextual understanding of the bot. Uh, if it, this setting is enabled, uh, that point of time, bot basically understand uh, the follow-up questions as well. For example, let's say if you have asked certain question, uh, what are the plan supported and if you want information about certain plan in the next question follow up question it will uh, you know recognize that and reply based on that and these are a couple of other options like connect to help center so we also provide our help center so if you want you can connect with that uh yeah uh, so now we'll move to demo uh, so this is the test bot uh, 
so you can test it live actually uh, let's say if you do any kind of changes in settings you can directly test it from here so as i, I said also do you want to show the com uh, the zendex zendex part the ticketing part the like help center before we start yeah sure sure uh, so here for demo purpose i have created the zendex help center uh, you know art case as well so here I mean, just two types of articles I have created. One where we have certain basic questions like, uh, you know, let's say, uh, what kind of features company provides, different kind of pricing and plans, right? Or how do you resolve certain uh, certain issues? Uh, for example, billing. How do you cancel billings and all? Uh, the second the second uh, type of articles I have created where. Uh, you know the company has some big announcement like let's say releasing a new feature i just you know picked one topic saying multi-region buildings right so let's say the company has uh, written article on that so bot is the demo bot is already trained on all these data uh so just to demo i'll just uh, pick one question maybe uh you know let's say pricing and plans so i'll just ask what kind of uh, let's say uh, what are all the plan supported So now you can see, uh, you know, it listed down all the plans, what we have listed in the article. So here we have listed, right, a uh, life plan, then advanced plan and the enterprise plan. So it is already, you know, listing all the plans here, right? Uh, right now I can, uh, and then it also provide the, the source link from where it is uh, getting you know uh, the answers so it's it's a combination of two articles basically it fetched uh, you know the answers from uh we can also ask as i said like follow up questions so i can ask maybe how many how many features have at level in like plan Also, uh, this this question, this answers are really long. Can we also have this option to shorten the answers because sometimes customers don't want to read lengthy answers. So, do can you show some examples where you can shorten the answers? All right. So, uh, let me change the settings here. Uh, for example, I can go to settings and say so. Right now, it's, the length is normal. You can say, uh, but uh, let's say if I say sort, I can save it. Right, and then I can maybe ask uh, same question and then check. Yeah, so now you can see uh, the in the first answer, uh, it has actually explained about uh, you know the different plans as well, uh, but um, you know in this it just listed down the. Plan, uh, plan name and the pricing. This is the relevant uh, ones with the sort answers. So it's sorted the you know the answers here. Uh, right. Uh, even you know it can. Uh, I can also ask like tell me more. Uh, so it will tell me more about this. Right. So now it explained it uh, just like earlier. Uh, so it sort in the answer first. And then let's say if the user is asking the follow up questions like tell me more and all it uh, identify the context and then replying. from. Uh, yeah. So let me ask some other questions from here as well. Uh, so let's say what is multi region billing? I'll just ask this. Let me start a new conversation. I'll just uh, ask about. Right. So it is actually, you know, uh, giving answers here. 
so also uh, on top of it it also identifies uh, uh, you know the language so we support more than 100 languages it's automatically support uh, languages on the language part there if you have different uh, you know uh, articles created on different languages it uh, it uh, check the uh, you know the user language and identify answers from there itself Let's say if it is only in English, uh, it automatically translate and then answer it. Uh, so for example, I have uh, translated one of the questions uh, in Spanish. I will ask the same question in Spanish. Let's say if it replies. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, so this reply we got in Spanish. Uh, we can maybe translate and check if the answer is valid. Yeah. So this this answer is actually coming from, uh, you know, the, this article, right? Okay. So that's that's mostly about the AI layer part. Uh, so I'll uh, move to the next section where uh, I'll just uh, demonstrate how it got integrated with the. Uh, you know, sun sign and uh, same thing, uh, how seamlessly works uh, with the sun sign as well. Uh, so I just... Before you continue, I think uh, this is pretty fantastic, right? So, and I think we see these use cases coming very often uh, where your businesses are serving customers which who are present across different geos. Uh, so a company who's, let's say, based out of Spain or Mexico is trying to serve a customer, let's say, in US or Canada. Uh, so this really helps there uh, because rather than creating uh, documents in multiple languages, if that takes too much effort, you can leverage the power of AI here to kind of uh, translate on the book, right? So, uh, which I think is one of the most important criteria uh, to drive uh, you know, customer engagement. Uh, in, in a lot of studies, it has been shown that customers has preferred a support or service when it has been given in the language within the native language, right? So this kind of really solves the problem. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty fantastic. Yeah, so yeah, thanks Adarsh, carry on. Yeah, uh, so now I'll move to the, uh, you know, sunshine part. So I just uh, mm -hmm. integrated a sample sunshine uh, chat here, uh, you know, so, and that is actually integrated with uh, communicate AI layer. So now you can see the same welcome message what we demonstrated right uh, in our test bot page. Uh, same welcome message is coming here. I can ask same kind of questions like, you know, what is multi season billing, right? Right, so it's uh, basically answering, uh, you know, the uh, getting the answer from the same bot, and it is showing the same, you know, links and all. Uh, so I'll not demonstrate again the same thing. Uh, I'll just uh, write one more follow-up question. Maybe uh, is it is it available in all? Uh, also, it also auto correct the you know the typos. So I'll just uh, write the wrong spelling here. It level in let's say light plan. Right. So it says so uh, uh, it's not available in light plan, it's only included in enterprise plan. Right. Uh, so uh, again, uh, let's say the uh, the bot is not able to handle uh, certain questions or user wants to talk to a uh, human. Uh, so if we say talk to him. So this is what we have already figured on Sunshine side. Uh, and it will ask me to, uh, you know, provide some details. Right. And then this got connected to agent. Now I can see, uh, you know, the same ticket got created here. Uh, so I can see there is one ticket in the queue on the Gendes, uh, you know, Gendes dashboard. So it's not communicate dashboard, it's a Gendes dashboard. 
Now, all the conversation happened uh, with that bot will appear here, right? All the history is co uh, coming here. Also, uh, it, it, uh, the form what we have filled is also visible here. So now the agent can start uh, chatting agent form desk, right? And then we can see the message. Thank you. Let's say the user is typing thank you, right? So th they can see the uh, no uh, messages here. Uh, yes, so that's on the sunshine part. Also, uh, you know, we support job in chat, but uh, since they have uh, changed a lot on their uh, API, certain APIs are got deprecated and then new APIs are getting created. Uh, so that's why I, I'm not able to currently demo it. But uh, in Jopim, uh, you know, case, uh, uh, the our chat with it, it can easily integrate with even our chatbot, uh, a chat interface, you can say, uh, where the in, a user will integrate, uh, interact with our chat interface, and then the ticket got created here on the gender side. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it from uh, my side. Uh, over to Mark. Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much, Adas. That was really, really, very helpful. And um, the flow was really good. I think uh, we got to see really interesting use cases from training your AI on uh, on your Zendis articles to seeing how you can easily, without any training, the bot understands the languages. And it also gives back in, uh, answers in those languages. Um, so yeah, if your support team supports global customers uh then yeah this is a very good feature for you i see we've got a few questions uh one of them i answered is like what llms do you use which is google a uh, open ais and then google gemini and anthropic uh we've got one more question either of you can take this up um so david is asking could you give examples of how communicates ai integrations have improved resolution times for support teams using zendesk Got it. I can take that. So uh, thanks, David, for the question. So uh, traditionally, what we have seen is that AI has been able to, uh, you know, deflect, uh, you know, uh, forty to fifty percent of the queries that typically come your way, right? Uh, with Gen AI, we are seeing those percentages moving up very fast. Uh, primarily being uh, because in the earlier versions of your AI, uh, the way it people used to train, there was a limitation on uh, that if let's say uh, you want to train uh, the bot on certain use cases, you have to manually feed in those different data points one by one through the intent process. Uh, with Gen AI coming in the picture, uh, we see that uh, customers are able to train the bot on a huge amount of data. Uh, sometimes the data is unstructured, which is a different problem to solve because uh, that uh, data is very key in terms of uh, uh, to en ensure that there are no hallucinations, no confusion that the bot is going through. Having said that, the time to value has reduced a lot because of these generative AI capabilities, right? So uh, in, our, in previous cases, when the customer used to take four to five months to really start seeing a value in putting an AI in the customer service uh, 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 framework, uh, now with Gen AI, we are seeing that value getting realized within a month or so. Uh, and it is uh, purely because uh, using these Gen AI, the bots are much, much smarter on day one, uh, which really kind of really helps to you know uh, solve for the use cases uh, for which the bot is being deployed. I, I hope that uh, answers the question, Mana. Yeah, perfectly. Uh, I, I don't see any more questions over here. Mm -hmm. um, I think we are also exactly on time. Actually, we have exceeded five minutes. Uh, the session mm -hmm. was 30, 30 minutes. And really appreciate for the people who have stayed back till like crossing your, giving us your extra time of the five minutes also. Yeah. Uh, okay, I see one more question. Okay, no, there's nothing more. Cool. I. Uh, okay, I really want to thank all of our attendees joining from different parts of the world. We really appreciate your time today. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, okay, I see one more question from Cedric, uh, where he's asking, thank you. And also, I wanted to ask, does the bot auto-sync with new articles on the Help Center? 
I think what he's trying to ask is, does if so if there's a new article written, does it mm -hmm. auto syncs or? Others would you like to take that? All right. So uh, right now uh, the auto sync, uh, especially on this part, uh, is in progress. Uh, but um, I guess it will get released uh, by next week or next to next week. Uh, but yeah, that's that's quite uh, you know possible. So we have already tested it. It's it's in testing. Uh, so any changes in our, uh, uh, I mean, uh, gender articles, let's say existing one, or let's say if you are adding the new one, it will get automatically uh, sent. Cool. Thank you, others. Uh, I think we are both time. Uh, really, uh, again, thank you every attendees for joining us from different parts of the world. Really appreciate it. Um, so just just before we call out uh, i just wanted to say a thank you note and if you have any questions please reach out to us at sales at the rate committee.io that would be s-a-l-e-s at committee.io and we'll definitely see you back in our next webinar and thank you adash and yogesh for taking the time out to do this today my pleasure thank you thanks thank you. thank you thank you everyone